Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's 1.15 in the afternoon, about 45 degrees here in Modoc. Looking for a high of 48, and we got uh, sunshine today. Boy, if that ain't good for the soul. And it's good for the mountain. This is day number day number four of our, our melt. And uh, looks like it'll be a good day for mountain. Looks like every day from here on out will be, as far as I can tell. Maybe tomorrow they say might have a little chance of some rain. But we'll take start taking a look at everything. Hope everybody's having a good day, wherever you're at. I know the... A lot of things come with the melt across the country as we're going, which will be water. I was just showing you the roofs there. There's the house roof. There's the barn roof. It's almost all melted off. Our drift in the yard is just getting smaller by the day. We got lots of water out here standing by the garage already. You know, and that's, that's just something we'll have to put up with for a little bit. Open the garage here. I got a little snow melt there taking place inside the garage where the wind whipped that stuff up in under the, my door. And then that's okay. It means that garage is warming up. You know, everything's just got to be, the melt's going to be messy. That's all there is to it. So a guy just kind of has to watch himself going in and out of the house. Of course, and I got my three bullies. And my cat. And me. So we'll try not to track in. There's the garage. And it's a, it's almost all gone off of it, pretty much. Here's a look at the, here's a look at the tractor today. We starting to see most of the steering wheel, part of the seat. So, you know, Bet you here in a day or two we'll be seeing most of it. That's just the inside of this one stall. There's a lot of snow in there. A lot of snow out here. You know, when we first got the storm, of course we had some after that too, but that first initial storm was they said it was right at about 14.2 inches. I don't know how they measure it with that wind like it was. But you can tell we got a lot of snow. And we got some good mountain taking place. And it'll start picking up after today. We haven't had really much warm weather. I was just watching the news out of Wichita and said this has been the coldest January since 1985 for Wichita. And the average temperature was 24.9 degrees. And I know uh, I started doing the melt on like Monday. That was the first day we'd been above freezing in a long time. And the horses were just laying down relaxing all but one they just been rolling in the mud it looks like and that is going to do it they'll just wind up getting a little muddier they like it but it's time for the melt to happen now Not sure you can see that uh, fence wire back there, but I've been watching it every day. 
and the snow ain't come off of it yet, so still on there. Of course, we got the big duke out here. You got to inspect the situation with us. You know, as old Duke's getting older, it takes a lot more patience to deal with him. <laughs> it's always took patience. He knows how to make a person humble, I tell you. Here's the stall where old Betsy was. Hard to see any improvement in there, but I see it. I, I can see the, the, oh, the top buckle of my mower there. Today, hadn't been able to see that, so. So it's dropping slowly but surely. You can see part of the dirt right there. These drifts are melting. They're melting tremendously. I can tell by the water out here. Sheila was telling me yesterday she couldn't really tell if the drifts were melting. But uh, I can. They're just melting from underneath. You can kind of see on our garage door here, this little garage. On Monday, I'm gonna zoom in a little. On Monday, that point of that drift was up there even with them hinges. So we've made some pretty good progress. And you know, it's, a, it's kind of a slow melt. It ain't gonna be slow after today. You take, figure it's uh, 45 right now, and if it gets up to 48, maybe 50, and there ain't no wind, it's a lot nicer day than it was even yesterday. All the sunshine's just good for the soul. Just good for the soul. For it is mine. But that, uh, we're going to have to put up with a little bit of mud, but it's going to be so good for the crops and uh, the pastures. Just going to be great. Here's the dumpster. Trash guy was able to get in here again this morning. That was a big old plus. I think he got everything. Oh, we had a little frozen on the bottom. But you remember when we started the the melt day one? That drift was up there even with that dumpster. So we've dropped probably. Well, it's pulled away from the dumpster, and but we've probably dropped a good good eight inches around there. Oh, and there's our other little partner, our little Smokey. The other two will be out here pretty quick. They is in there sleeping. That's always an interesting part here because I'm going to have to get these freed up here. So I can uh, hold old Maddie back. At night, she'd like to run off, but... Uh, I keep us kind of contained around the garage area there. There's our old mower. It sits on that trailer is what it does. There's a trailer right there. And then there's another little trailer right over here. And you can see, Monday we couldn't see much of it at all. Now we can. It's an old homemade kind of fifth wheel flatbed trailer. But uh, you can kind of see the top of that fifth wheel. See more and more of the lawnmower every day. Oh, today's just a beautiful day. Magnificent. But you can see the drifts up on them cedar trees out there. And see, it don't look like we made any headway from yesterday, but when you stop and think about all the water that's underneath that snow, that it's got to soak up. Of course, today, 
the heat's gonna start getting it from from below too. And there comes my little angel. She's saying, "Oh, are you standing in the right, in the way? Ain't no way I can escape yet. So I better walk around this way. Wait for him to walk around. She's gonna go snoop in the garage for a minute." You can tell, you can see a little meltdown in them drifts. End of the road ain't showing a lot of improvement, but at least it ain't just a big old pile of mud either. Right here is where the mailman always turns around. And I always have a couple of holes right here that I need to get filled in. Need to see if the county will give me some gyps. Duke, looks like we got some more packages. Amy's on. Keeps me from having to go to town so much. I kind of love that. So, yeah. We'll have to come get them. Right in this area, we've had good melt off that fence. We had a little traffic in here. Sometimes you get some traffic in here. People checking on their house next door and stuff. But it's just a gorgeous, calm day. It's slick. You can bust your butt real quick. Wouldn't be hard to do at all. In fact, it'd be pretty easy. Here I drove back in here the other day with my tractor just checking things out. And you can see that uh, that snow's taking its time melting down through there. I think you can see the barn over there. I still got one pile of snow where it whipped up on there on that west end, but the, that ain't going to be there after today, I predict. Might be, but it's hard to say. And then here in the next couple of months, next couple of months going to be real busy for me because I'm going to start working on the outside of the house every chance I get and uh, get that painted this spring. I just got to figure out what color I'm going to paint it. I got some paint for the trim, I think, and we'll see if uh, we like it and see if maybe we just won't paint the whole thing like that. We'll check that out. You'll be watching some coming videos here in the next month or two. We're going to have some weather, but we're going to have some nice days where a guy can put in some work, too. You know, you think you're not busy. Uh, then you just, you know, my days just fly by. I get up pretty early. But sometimes I sit around, have a cup of coffee, a couple cups of coffee, make my breakfast, make my pups their breakfast, feed the cats, the bird. Next thing you know, it's time for supper. Yeah, we'll walk on through here. I was just watching them dogs there for a minute. Big girl probably ain't never got off the couch yet. You know, and the snow was up on that fence there. That's where I hang my my hoses and everything for water and my horses. So I'm gonna have to dig them out today. And uh, 
water them horses. That snow peeling off of there right quick. Even took my wire down a little bit. Here an airplane, I think. I think it's an airplane, a little airplane. You better come on, Duke. You get lost out there. But I'm gonna take us inside the yard here right quick from a different direction. And then we'll walk back through it. There's the big girl. There's the big girl. How you doing, Lily? Hey, baby. The snow always, always drifts right through here. Comes right across through here. Always have to scoop this out several times during a storm because of the way the wind does it. But I like it piling all that snow. That's I got a snowball bush right here. That's just good moisture. And of course you know that is my flower patch part of it. Gonna be adding on to that this spring too. Now this is different side view of that drift around the house. And it's amazing what it did yesterday. It melted down quite a bit. And that drift goes, uh, you know, it's a couple of feet deep. It goes all the way out here. A little softer, you fall through it a little easier right now. That's the old Chan Man's tree. It's a blue spruce. It collected a lot of moisture and it'd be good for it. Here we get back in here. We're getting us some good melt around the windmill and stuff here. Just awesome, just awesome. Right in here by the hot tub area. Reason I haven't bothered to scoop that is you know, it's just been so frozen that I don't want to break nothing around the hot tubs. I've just been letting her come melt loose. And if you look, we've had some tremendous progress there. Now, right here, I'll try today to get a little bit of stuff out of here, but that's just, that's just ice underneath that snow. Makes it hard to get a shovel up under there. <coughs> But I think a couple of days, like today, this area is going to be all clean. All clean on its own. Without me getting impatient and breaking anything, including my neck. You know, and that can happen to us at times. Well, can to me anyway. I get impatient and make things worse than what they really are. So I try to work on that pretty hard. And then there's our little drift right there that we was watching from the get-go. You can, you can almost see under that top rail. We got some good melt taking place. It'll be amazing to look at it tomorrow at about this time. Well, I'm going to walk around here and get my little dolly and get out there before things get too thawed. Get them packages in where I can see where they go. And pay attention to what them dogs is doing. It's a nice day. Maddie might take off.
It always gets nice and muddy right through here too. But anyway, we'll keep an eye on things. Hope you're following me every day. And like I say, this is day four of the melt. Anybody got any guesses on how many days it's going to take to melt her down? Just mention it in the comment section there. And uh, I'll be sure and talking at you later. Uh, make sure you check back. We'll see how everything's going. Hey, have a great day wherever you are. Be safe and uh, stay dry. Stay warm. Be sure to like and subscribe, and God bless.